concern tonight from an East County community. In the next few days, a sexually violent predator will be released there. And we've been tracking state efforts to find a place for Douglas Badger for years. And now it's finally happening. But Badger is not the first to be released in Borrego Springs. He'll be the second in just the last few months. ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill joined us. Ryan, you talked with residents about how the presence of these men in their communities is changing their lives. Yeah, well, hey, Kimberly, that's right. This is Douglas Badger. It's a face you may recognize from many stories that we've done over the years. He'll be out within the next week. Now, this is Michael Martinez, another sexually violent predator who was placed in a home on Running M Road last September. I spoke to the Borrego man who lives right across the street, and he tells me that it's caused changes in their lives. Found that this was happening across the street, I was quite came as quite a shock. That shock is something John Stillman and others on Running M Road in Borrego Springs have been dealing with for quite a while. He tells me a sexual violent predator, Michael Martinez, was placed into this home in mid-September 2022. He sort of stays to himself, you know, he hangs out in the backyard, feeds the birds. You know, some of the straight dogs go visit over there. Stillman says his neighbors are aware of Martinez's restrictions, including what he's allowed to do at the home. But some families have taken it upon themselves to make adjustments as well. Their kids aren't going to be out on their bikes quite as much. I don't see him down on my end of the cul-de-sac where they'd have to drive past his house much anymore. For the kids, there's certainly been tighter restrictions on how they can even play outside. And now their attention will be on another SVP placed in their community. Douglas Badger is set to be placed at a home on Zuni Trail on or prior to next Wednesday. The families that live on both streets are related to one another. They have teenage kids, they have younger kids who used to ride their bicycles between these two. And now they don't feel comfortable doing that. Sarah and Lee Rogers have pushed back against the placement of these SVPs in their community. I asked them what May 24th will mean for them with Badger's release. Well, it means that another community is let down. He's going to be within proximity of hikers, a hotel, lots of people in his victim profile, and the court didn't care. I'll be feeling for that community because I remember how raw it was those first weeks. And you just, you know, the reality hits that, you know, everything you did didn't matter. Kids being in the neighborhood didn't matter. Young children being put at risk didn't matter. And as you heard earlier, Stillman says that this does motivate him to fight against any attempt to release more of these predators in Borrego Springs. Reporting live here in the studio, Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.